Morning guys, I am up and at them early because I want to avoid what happened last week um, by actually figuring out what I'm going to be eating before I go to the grocery store. And then also I just wanted to show you how much of a nerd I was so that you could see exactly what I was doing. Okay guys, so a lot of people ask me like, you know, what app do you use to track? How do you calculate your macros? Blah de blah de blah. The answer is I don't use any apps. I usually just use a pen and paper, but nowadays I'm getting to the point where I'm transferring all of that stuff to the computer and I'm basically making my own food database, which, you know, some people could say is double work. Like, hey, why don't you just use my fitness pal or something? But like, have you seen the junk in there? Like you can put in there McDonald's hamburger no bun and like literally 50 entries come up and they only vary by a little like this one has seven and a half grams of fat this one has six grams of fat like why would they be different so in order to know exactly what I'm eating and feel the most confident I'm making my own food database on my computer so basically if you can see here I'm just literally putting every item of food that I eat and the serving size and all of the macros as I continue to buy things I'm just gonna keep adding to this list like and then the piece de resistance this is the sheet where I actually calculate my macros so you can see here last week when I had the eggs and butter and bacon and sausage and here's my bulletproof coffee like I'm actually taking the serving size multiplying it by how many servings I'm having, and that's how I calculate my calories. So if I don't feel confident in knowing exactly what I'm eating, then I get really caught up on like, this might not be accurate anyway, so what's the point? So in order to keep myself accountable, this is just how I feel most comfortable. And so I'm gonna continue to make my own plans on the computer. And then this also helps because eventually I am gonna put these on a website for you guys so that you can actually see what I'm eating. I really wanna start sharing exactly what I'm eating. I know that you get an idea of it in my meal preps, but I want you to see the portions and how many calories that adds up to and the macros. So that is coming in the near future, uh, but this is a good foundation for that. So I'm going to be working on this until it's time to get the dogs ready and get the day started. Hi, matey. Milton. Milton, sit. Good boy. Good boy. Okay guys, so let's just make a deal that if ever I go out on a Saturday night and I like wear makeup, I'm just gonna keep it on my face for the next day, okay? And, and that's just gonna be all right. Cause like, it still looks great. I sleep, I sleep like a mummy. Like, so, and it works. So that's why I'm made up today and I am here for it. And I'm also here for Zip Fizz. Let's see what flavor we have today. It's black cherry. We all know black cherry is my favorite. You guys, now my bottle opener is in the house. Like when I'm in the house, it's in the car. And then when I'm in the car, it's in the house. Like I don't deserve nice things. I'm just gonna say it. So I ought to be ashamed of myself. <laughs> Okay, you know what time it is. It's gloomy outside, but it's a party in here. You know what I'm talking about? In three, two, one. Hey, that was a good one. Oh, black cherry is just delicious. Just left the gym, incline treadmill. So a lot of people ask what I do at the gym. So I normally walk between 
30 in 45 minutes. I always walk at a steady 3.1 pace. So like, I don't really walk fast, but what I do is I'm always walking at an incline. As soon as I hop on the treadmill, I push the incline to 3.0. Like that is my baseline. And then from there, the last 10 or 15 minutes of my workout, I'll start to increase the incline by two every couple of minutes. So by the last couple minutes that I was walking today, I was at a nine incline and that is tough. Like I was pumping my arms like nobody's business. You can get a great low impact workout. So that's what I do at the gym. Today is gonna be a really busy day for me, but the good thing is like meal prep is basically meal heat up. Like <laughs> I'm having eggs, bacon, and sausage. And really the only things that I have to cook are the eggs and bacon. So that's gonna be my meal one. I'm planning to have a keto brick fat bomb, but I have to get home and see if I have a keto brick. If not, I'll probably use some baker's chocolate and peanut butter and things like that to make a fat bomb. And then my second meal, we're getting to the, I've had stuff sitting in my refrigerator for a long time, so I need to use it meal prep. So that's gonna be pulled pork. I have some pulled pork that I need to use up and I'm gonna be making like a sour cream and chive type cauli rice mixture. So I'm very excited about all of that. But now it's time to get to Meyer and get going. done with meal prep and I have a lot of great things that I'm excited to show you but now I have to go run all sorts of errands before it's time for me to come back so I'm gonna take you along with me and then we will be back to wrap up meal prep and there's probably ice cream on the horizon walking into a Walmart at 2 o'clock on a Sunday afternoon immediate regret Y'all keep telling me I can find bangs at Walmart. I'm in the water aisle, like I'm in the soda aisle. I don't see them, I'm not buying it. I mean, I'm literally not buying it because I can't find it, like. Oh. Okay, I take back everything I just said because there they are right behind me and I'm very excited. Now, of course, my janky ass Walmart doesn't have the price on them, but I'm assuming they're $1.98. And if they're not, I'm gonna throw a fit when I get up to the counter, thank you very much. But I found them. Okay guys, so per usual, I went to the shop to do some work and I ended up staying a lot longer than I wanted to. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I own a beauty shop in Louisville, Kentucky with my sister and another friend. And so I am the business manager, so that means I run all the business, I pay all the bills, do all the paperwork, etc. And I didn't get to do that yesterday because I was too busy running the Papa John's 10 miler. Um, I'll put some footage in there right now and then uh, you can check out my picture on Instagram. I completed a 10 mile walk slash jog. It was really fun, but I was really tired and definitely didn't feel like doing any shop work after that. 
so I had to get it all done today. So sadly that means that there was no ice cream enjoy tonight and like that super hurts my feelings because <laughs> I really wanted it but there's always next weekend. A lot of people ask me what ice cream I was referring to and it is this enlightened chocolate peanut butter. I will eat this whole thing and it is 12 net carbs and on the weekends I'm doing net carbs and this fits right in my macros. Um, so if you let it sit out for an hour it is amazing <sighs> but not today. All right but I'm really excited about what I have for meal prep so let's get into it. Okay, so for meal one, I'm having four eggs in a tablespoon of butter. I'm having two pieces of bacon and a piece of sausage. And then for my snack, I am having the Keto Brick Fat Bombs. I think this is just the original Keto Brick that was sent to me by my good friend Kristen, AKA Keto Fied Veteran. Thank you so much. I put half the amount of heavy whipping cream into these because the first time they were too crumbly. Last week they were a little too chewy, so I'm hoping I can Goldilocks it and like find a really good median. I'm also having bulletproof coffee, and then for my second meal, ah, oh, delicious microwavable pulled pork, having perhaps some barbecue sauce and some bread and butter pickles to go with that. Also, I made that Kali rice concoction. I just heated up all of the Kali rice in the microwave and then I put it in a pan and added some heavy cream and some sour cream and lots of butter. I ended up mixing some chives in there and I'm gonna put some more on top for garnish. And then for another snack, I do have room in my macros this week for the little pepperoni cream cheese jalapeno doodad, so I'm very excited. And then we got Jello, and then we got all my drinks. So I have an ice drink and I have a Powerade Zero. Not pictured is some gum, but you know I'm having that as well. Okay guys, overall that puts a cap on a very busy weekend, but I had a great time. Uh, but now I'm glad it's over and I'm gonna go to sleep <laughs> and get ready for the week ahead. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly what I eat Wednesdays, monthly weigh-ins, monthly keto crate unboxings, and the occasional product review and recipe. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks and I'll see you next week.